what is a brute force attack in this video we would try to understand that a brute force attack is an attack in which an attacker tries multiple passwords or passphrases until the password is guessed correctly attackers usually keep submitting passwords or passphrases one by one until the correct one is found attackers often use a brute force attack in an early phase of a cyber attack they use a brute force attack to guess credentials and gain access to a system or infiltrate a network there are different types of brute force attacks a dictionary attack is a type of brute force attack in which an attacker tries all the words in a dictionary as passwords users often use a dictionary word as a password so instead of trying all combination of characters attackers try all words in a dictionary up to a certain length until the password is guessed correctly credential recycling is another type of brute force attack in which attackers collect usernames and passwords from previous data breaches and reuse them to hack user accounts users often reuse passwords or use the same passwords in multiple accounts as a result if one of the accounts gets hacked attackers can easily use the credential recycling attack to hack other accounts of the same user using the same hacked credentials in a reverse brute force attack attackers select a common password and try to guess the username that uses that password they usually try a common password against multiple usernames until the correct combination of username and password is guessed users often use weak passwords like football123 so it becomes easier for attackers to hack user accounts using reverse brute force attacks how to prevent brute force attacks increase the password strength if the password strength is more it will take more computation or power for an attacker to guess the correct password as a result it will take more time for an attacker to make the attack never keep any dictionary word as a password a good password should be a combination of lower and upper case characters numbers and special characters and it should be at least 12 characters long do not use the same password in multiple accounts one can use password managers if remembering passwords become difficult use two factor authentication whenever possible if a user uses two factor authentication then an attacker cannot access the user's account even if the attacker correctly guesses the password provided the attacker does not have access to the other authentication factor administrator should limit the login attempts in a user account if there are many failed logins in a user account the user account should be locked temporarily and last but not least web application should always use a captcha in a login form a captcha helps in verifying that only a human user is trying to login as a result if an attacker tries to automate the brute force attack it will fail i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more can visit the website of the security body the security body provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also refer to the book web application vulnerabilities and prevention to know more about how a web application becomes vulnerable to various cyber attacks and how we can prevent them you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos